we know that Python is very popular in handling text and string data. The text processing and string manipulation is very interesting area for many applications. Hence, pandas cope up with the regular expressions of Python that makes us to work with the text and string with pandas objects easily. So let us work with the, some of the string object methods first. In many situations, built-in string methods are sufficient to work with the string manipulation and other scripting applications. Here I am starting with the comma separated string object that is python underscore sentence is equal to python is a programming language. Here all the string characters are separated with comma. We notice that there is some white space also in between the string characters. Now I would like to split these characters for that I can use split method which is used to split or break the string into number of pieces. The dark string of the split method says it returns a list of the words in the string using separator as the delimiter string. So it uses sep. By default it is none. The delimiter according to which to split the string. None means split according to any white space and discard empty strings from the result. It also ac accepts max split that means maximum number of splits to do. Minus 1 by default means no limit. Split all the words in the string. So here I am using comma as the separator of delimiter. It returns a list of the words by separating with the comma values. Here the comma is also treated as a one of the string character. Split is often combined with the strip method to trim white space including any line breaks. Earlier there was a white space in a programming and language words in the string. Notice that. And here there is no white space because I have used strip method with the list comprehension using for loop to split these words of this string without the white space. In order to join the number of strings with the different delimiters, we can use join method of python string. Let us see the duck string of join. It concatenates any number of strings. The string whose method is called is inserted in between each given string. The result is returned as a new string. Let me join the words of string CS with colon. Here I am joining the separated words in string with the colon using join method.
notice that the words are joined with colon successfully. The unpacked string words can be combined each other using any string object method with the help of addition method that means by using the addition parameter. We know that the string CS has four words. Python is a programming language. So let me unpack with four string variables one, two, three, four. First, the first word is Python. Here I am combining with some different numerical and non numerical characters. We must include these special characters or symbols inside a single or double code to make sure that they are treated as string elements. We got a special string with special characters. Sometimes we need to check a substring in a large string to confirm that it exists or not. To do that, we can use in keyword of Python. So Python in CS, it results true. We can also use index and find methods to detect a substring based on its position it appears. Let me check what these two methods do. S dot index. It returns the lowest index in S where substring sub is found. So substring means either comma, semicolon, colon, or whatever maybe. That will that is treated as substring such that sub is contained within start colon end. Optional arguments start and end are interpreted as in slice notation. That means start and end they works like in slicing notation. It traces value error when the substring is not found. Suppose here I am using comma for the string python underscore sentence. If I pass semicolon it raises an error. So that is the meaning of that. Let me check the ducting of find method. S dot find. It returns the lowest index in S where substring sub is found such that sub is contained within the start column end that means between start and end the optional arguments start and ends are interpreted as in slice notation returns minus one on failure so this is the main difference between index and find The index method gives the position of the substring in first appearance that means the lowest index value. Lowest index value means the first appearance of that substring. So here I would like to check the substring comma where it appears first by passing in index method. That means a string according to the dark string of the index method python underscore sentence is a string dot index and I am passing the substring here as comma. So it appears at the sixth position. Let me count from 0, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it appears at the sixth position.
if the substring does not found in the string the index method returns value error so here we got a value error substring not found that means semicolon is not present in python underscore sentence so we have only comma and white space the find method also works similar to like index method but in the options of substring it returns minus one instead of error as for each doc string as we saw earlier so now find semicolon so it returns minus one because semicolon is not found We can easily count the number of substrings in a given string using count method. So here I am counting comma substring in python underscore sentence string. Here it has three commas. As you can see here, one, two, three. If we want to replace a new substring in place of the existing substring we can choose replace method as we saw earlier here i would like to replace comma by colon first and then comma by by null substring that means without substring this is how can manipulate with the strings